property on Bitcoin is defined by a chain of ownership. In, so a chain of digital signatures is how it's described in the white paper. So what actually is Bitcoin? It's the end of one of those chains of ownership. Um, it's an unspent transaction. So all these other you know, past states on the chain have been spent and what we have at the very end is something that's unspent. Uh, and what's key to that is that you can treat each of those unspent transaction outputs separately. They're not tied to an account that's part of the system. The other important thing is that ordering is implicit. Uh, so it's, it functions like cash where Ethereum functions like a bank account. So let's imagine I wanna send $5 to Zach and then Zach's gonna send $5 to Dave. You know, if we wanted to do it with cash, I could hand Zach a $5 bill. He turns around and hands that $5 bill to Dave. Great, easy. If we were gonna use accounts, then I could send a message to my bank saying, or to my account holder saying, all right, send $5 to Zach. And Zach sends a message saying, send $5 to Dave. Uh, now the problem is what happens if those messages get read out of order. With the cash, it can't really be out of order because I hand the money to Zach and then Zach hands that same money to Dave. That's how UTXOs work. And in that case, the, the ordering is implicit. By doing that, it's as if we handed cash from me to Zach to Dave. And the, that's going to be very easy for the Bitcoin miners to evaluate. If you look at Ethereum, order is not implicit and therefore the order in which messages get read is extremely consequential. And this presents a really big problem. So you know, where does that problem come in? Imagine I wanted to send one Ether to Dave, or sorry, to Zach. Zach has an account with a zero balance and he's gonna send that one Ether on to Dave after he receives it. The problem is if Zach's message gets read by the miners first, it's gonna be invalid. So that means that the order really, really matters. There's no implicit order. So this leads to things like low block times on Ethereum. In Bitcoin, because this ordering is implicit, the block times are not very relevant um, because you don't need to lock in the state with a new block. There's 10 minute blocks in Bitcoin, but it really wouldn't be that different if things were 20 minute blocks, hour long blocks, we can transact instantly. In Ethereum, you really need to be sure that things are getting locked into place because the order matters and the order is up to the discretion of the miner. So I think Ethereum has one minute blocks right now. Uh, that means that if you're making multiple transactions that are they have an implicit order in your application, you're sort of at the mercy of the miner if you're not willing to wait 